I wrote basically standard copy, right? Bigger font, please. Bigger font. Man. Big enough yet? No? Okay, I wrote standard copy, right? Like not great, just whatever, standard copy. Um, I'm gonna call it down here. Because of, um, you know, compilers, uh, my goal is to copy these bytes into these bytes. And I'm just making this an extern int because otherwise the compiler will say I'm not actually doing anything and, you know, just, just so that it compiles more than XOR, you know, EAX. Um, and what do we get when we compile that? Mem copy, All right? The mem set is, is this zero, and this is mem copy, right? Because of course it is. Um, do, 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 do. I'm just gonna write some code on the fly because that's what you do in these things. And the best way to write code on the fly is to copy and paste. <laughs> So it's really hard to do this across the screens. Um, I don't want to, I don't always want to use an output iterator, right? I want to um, send it to a sync function. Okay, same, same thing. You're iterating over and you're handing each item to a sync function. And then I'm going to write a sync function So let's get rid of this one. So the sync function is trying to do the exact same thing, right? Even though I'm using a sync function, my goal is still the same. Um, hey, I'm capturing in a lambda. I hope I did that right. Um, <laughs> and I'm D is pointing to, to this, and I'm incrementing D, and I'm just setting the bytes. All right. So can I give you this one real fast? No one actually needs to know know what I said. Um, so what's going to happen when we compile this? Anyone? You gotta have a lot of faith in the compiler. <laughs> Mem copy. By the way, this is GCC. Clang does the same thing. Clang actually unrolls some of the loop, so GCC just makes it look simpler. Um, all right, let's try. We're just gonna keep going until we can break this. All right, um, you know, if you have a, a sync function, shouldn't you have a source function? All right, uh, now my thing is a sync and a source, so I, I ask the source for a value, and as long as it gives this value has to be like uh, convertible to bool, probably it's an optional or something, right? Some kind of monad thing. Um, and as long as I get one and then I sync it, I, I pull the value out of this and sync it and Da da da, right? All right. All right, let's get rid of this one. Problem is you guys aren't impressed with anything. <laughs> so you can see it's a Lambda that has to look at the optional and get the thing. And it doesn't compile because I forgot to include optional. Um, we check the optional if it exists. Oh, this is checking for end. And it checks if the optional, is it falling off the end of the page? It basically, um, oh, let me just scroll this over somehow. Right. It takes an optional of the va value uh, or it gives you null up, right? Because this is the source, trying to pull the value out of S, out of the source. If there's a value there, if you're not at the end, it gives you the next value, otherwise it gives you null up. Uh, and then, we put our pound includes right here, right? <laughs> and what's this gonna do? Oh, come on, it's gotta figure out optional and everything? It just does mem copy. I don't know, this just impressed the heck out of me. Um, I've only got one last question. What happens if I uh, take all three of them? That's the, that's the thing that gets me. 
<laughs> Doesn't matter what order you put them in. It's one mem copy, right? It's like, why would it do it three times? <laughs> That's it.